market has changed, as you know, and uh, we have to move with it in order to survive so that hopefully we can continue to thrive and deliver on a mission. This isn't news that you're going to want to hear, uh, but ultimately it was my decision and I wanted you to hear from me. It's been a really, really challenging decision to make. I've, this is the second time in my career I'm doing this and I do not, do not want to do this. The last time I did it, I cried. Um, this time I hope to be stronger. But we are laying off about 15% of the company. If you're on this call, you are part of the unlucky group being laid off. Your employment here is terminated effective immediately. <laughs> what? I mean, look, don't feel bad for the employees, 900 of them who were part of that call. Feel bad for the poor, poor CEO who raked in a $25 million bonus last year. Because the last time he had to do it, he cried. And so this is a very, very traumatic experience for him, okay? Let's, let's show some compassion, let's show some sympathy. What a garbage human being, really. For the 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 foe. Oh, I'm just really heartbroken over this. Um, I don't really care too much to meet with you individually. Uh, I'm just doing this all suddenly, without any warning, through a Zoom call. But I, I want you guys to understand. Of course, he's not like experiencing grief because he's doing this. It's. A super easy process for him. He doesn't have to see anyone face to face. He doesn't have to deal with anyone's tears, anyone freaking out in his office over the fact that they have families to feed. He has to do it through a Zoom call, 900 people. And he just pretends like it's it's really tearing him apart. It's a really difficult thing to do. I've always been very fearful of employees being remote. I've always wanted them in the office. I wanted to look at them, feel them. I'm a very tactile leader, I think, and I wanted that. And I was always uncomfortable, are they working? How do we assess them working? We take a number of data points, be it a CRM tool that they're currently using, a phone system like a Vonage, an email system, it could be G Suite or Microsoft 365. We aggregate all those data points in a real-time proprietary dashboard that provides them a weighted score. We record and transcribe all your phone calls. Well, everything I say on the phone is transcribed. So we have recorded. All of it is recorded. We use AI tools to massage that into a real time score that you see, as does your boss and the CEO and the VP of sales and the chief revenue officer. Everyone is seeing the productivity. Every morning you come to your desk, you have an email from us. You have your productivity score, your proto scores on the first line of the email. Your score yesterday for proto score was 74. Your colleagues were 90, they've done more. And it's a tool that you could gauge yourself against your peers. What a complete and utter goon and honestly a total creeper. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I wanna touch them, I wanna feel them, I wanna watch them. Are they being productive enough? And then look at how they try to pit their workers against each other. Oh, You see that your, your colleagues were 90% more productive than you were. What happened to office culture? What happened to company culture? Uh, it's BS. So I, I, I know dudes like that, and they really think. Again, they're in such a bubble. They think they nailed it, mm -hmm. and other people listening. Okay, yeah, he's proud of himself. 100 percent, 100 percent. When the the world shut down, Tillman, so did your businesses, from casinos to restaurants to the Rockets. How are you holding up? I'm a holding up. I'm holding up pretty damn good, but I've got. 45,000 employees out there that we've had to furlough that is so tremendously unfortunate that we've got to get back to work as soon as we can. And these unemployment numbers of 16 million and there's no telling what it's going to be next week is what's so sad about this whole crisis. How hard was that decision to lay off your employees? You know, Brian, I went through the 87 crisis, the 2000, the 2008. And it's kind of something that you realize is you're doing your people a favor if you get them furloughed first. 
because they're the first to the unemployment line after the severance that you give them. And, and it's a trick that I learned many years ago, and that's why so many people are having a hard time now. But it's just unimaginable. We've all had to do little layoffs over the years, but to have to basically shut down your whole company, when you think about having amusement parks, aquariums, restaurants all over the world, a basketball team, uh, casinos all over, and nothing is open. It, it's just, uh, it's like a sci-fi movie that you would never believe. So, um, Cenk, he has done his employees a favor because they were among the first in the unemployment line. You know, he really helped them beat everyone else to the punch. Yeah. You know, the, the part we cut off is uh, in Kilmeade's intro is when Kilmeade said right before uh, the sentence we showed you, I don't know anybody who's been hit harder than and then Tillman Furtada. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, so, no. Here, I know. I know a lot of people that's been hit harder. The 16 million unemployed. So yes. The guy still has $5 billion. Uh, and that's why he's like, I'm actually doing awesome, man. Right? Yeah, I I'm know doing all right. Yeah. yeah. 